Well, hello, friends. So this week, I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, the question is, what sorts of areas of mathematics would make really compelling video games? So I've got an example of a video game uh, that I made a while back that I wanted to share with you. It's a video game about row reducing matrices. You know, I don't think that row reduction is maybe people's favorite memory from, from linear algebra, but you know, it turns out that row reductions actually, I think, make a great video game. I think it's, it's a lot of fun actually to row reduce integer value matrices. So here's, uh, here's the game. I'm gonna load it up. SL2Z is the name of the game. I'll run it. Here's the, uh, the title screen. I guess I know how to play, so I'll just uh, start the game. Okay, so the idea is uh, you have to uh, use the, the buttons, the, the controller, to uh, row reduce these, these matrices. So you're, you're trying to add or subtract uh, one row from the other in order to get back to uh, here. So I want to get back to 1001. I'm almost there. I'm going in the wrong direction, so I got to go the other way. There we go. So I'm trying to get to uh, 1001. This game will also let you win if you get to minus 100 zero, zero, minus 1. So that makes it a little bit a little bit easier. Uh, you know, and I think it's uh, you know, it's actually you know, it turns out I think to be really fun actually, you know, to, to do this. It's uh, maybe it doesn't seem like it would be that that enjoyable, but uh, you know, you kind of get into a, a feeling. Oh, this this is a great one. I mean, there's sort of a lot of a lot of neat stuff going on here, and sort of get into some kind of some kind of feeling about what's supposed to happen after a while. I mean, one thing I really like is uh, is this kind of situation where you really feel like you're I'm mean, heading in the wrong direction, right? And I'm I'm sort of you know one something zero something is uh, if you like you know. It's, it's got this feeling of, of translating uh, left and right, and the, the graphics in the background uh, kind of reinforce that as well. Um, you know, so it's it's uh, you know it maybe makes for a fairly fun game. There's some kind of game mechanics that I glued onto this. Uh, you know, in terms of like the time and there's there's lives. Uh, you know, if you do the wrong thing, it will uh, eventually just you just oh, I lost a life there by just heading in the in the wrong direction. So there is a sort of a, a maybe a bit of gamification uh, happening in this, um, but just the you know just the process of uh, row reducing matrices I think you know, it turns out to be a lot more relaxing than. Uh, well, maybe then it was when I remember being forced to do this as a kid. I uh, I guess the colors maybe don't, and the music maybe doesn't necessarily reinforce the the, the relaxing feeling here. So maybe uh, maybe my my choice of crazy colors and uh, not very great video game music uh, sort of undermines the the feeling. Um, but uh, but it is, you know, I think it makes for a, a pretty great game. We've been using this uh, in some outreach events. Well, okay, I mean, we, of course, we don't have any outreach events because of the pandemic. But back before the pandemic, uh, you know, we would do some math outreach events and we would set this thing up and let random people uh, play. And it's, you know, pretty great. I mean, you know, kids can get into uh, row reduction. Uh, at least, you know, they, they can figure out how, how the game works. Um, you know, it's fun. It's fun to see you know, just sort of random people from the public, uh, you know, sort of playing around with this. Uh, it's, you know, it's I think surprisingly addictive. The the background graphics, uh, you know, kind of just play on the uh, the fractional linear transformations, uh, which I think is maybe a little distracting, but there's a, a fun story there as well. <laughs> That's pretty fun how slowly that moved in. Uh, okay, well, I should, I should probably stop playing this, but the, you know, the, the big question here is what sorts of, uh, kind of areas of mathematics would make for, uh, compelling, uh, video games, you know, authentic video games too, not just sort of bolting some kind of video game on top of some mathematics. We've tried other things. I mean, here's a, a calculus game. Uh, you have to tell if the here if the second derivative is positive or negative. So it's positive there. The derivative is negative there. The second derivative is positive there. Negative there. The derivative is negative there. You know. So here's just the function. The function is positive here. Derivative is negative here. I mean, this game's fine and it's kind of fun. You know that because uh, again, I mean, you can you can get sort of random people playing this game. Uh, but I mean, it's not nearly as much fun as the uh, as the SL2Z game, uh, you know, which is 
I don't know. I think it's an interesting question, sort of why why is that game uh, so so enjoyable? You know, and maybe there's just not this just isn't as as complex a situation, but. Uh, but I really enjoy the SL2 scene game a lot. So, so that's that's really my question for you. I mean, can you think of other areas of mathematics, sort of other mathematical contexts that would make for great video games? I want to hear any ideas that you've got. Please leave them in the comments below. I'll also post links to uh, to these games. You know, if you want to try them for yourself. Um, I mean, I particularly think the SL2 Z game is actually a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, okay. So anyway, so uh, so that's that's my uh, my ask uh, to you, you know, is that you'd post some ideas for kind of interesting mathematical context that could be turned into uh, fun, authentic video games, you know, not just a, a thin veneer of mathematics on top of some other game, but, you know, something that really takes the mathematics seriously and is sort of a, uh, maybe a way for uh, the public at large to engage uh, with some interesting mathematics.